Lucille, Jupiter, Alexander, Welric, or more commonly just Jupiter the Hybrid, is probably one of the most interesting cases of delusion that has been put on display for the whole world to see. Corbin Dean Pinnell is a 25-year-old man diagnosed with Asperger's and ADHD from a young age who has found his way into the limelight on TikTok and the wider internet because of his wild claims about mythical creatures. Now, there isn't any harm in this itself, but what happens when someone with such wild delusions is put on display for the wider internet? Well, that's exactly what I'm here to answer. But to do that, I'd like to start from the beginning. It's important to note that Jupiter is notoriously bad at telling the truth and keeping a consistent story. He's a pathological liar, so I'll pause the story to note places where he contradicts himself or where I need to speculate on what really happened. Sometime in 1988, Corbin Dean Patterson was born in Kuna City, Idaho. Corbin claims his dad was a vampire and that his mom was a werewolf, but in reality, they were just drug addicts. Corbin lived with them for 16 months with four other siblings, including his sister, Kia, who was one year younger than him, his older brother Shane, and two other sisters who were both older than him. They were all taken into custody and subsequently put into a foster home. The Pattersons remained in the foster home until Corbin was about five years old when they would be adopted into a family with five other children, meaning at this point, Corbin was a part of a family of ten, excluding his parents. Since he was adopted, his four siblings and him moved into their new home in the rural farming town of Melba, Idaho. This was when Corbin's name was changed from Patterson to Pinnell. In Corbin's words, his adopted family loved and cared about him. However, in other tellings of the story, he contradicts this by saying his family all turned their backs on him and they all abused him because he was the runt of the pack. In reality, his mom showed a severe amount of favoritism towards him and this was relayed by both him and his younger sister. However, all was not well in the Pinnell family. From the age of just four years old, Corbin's older brother, Shane, or Junior as he was referred to by the rest of his family, started sexually abusing Corbin and his younger sister, the latter of which much more often. This went on for several years until Shane would be caught in the act by his mom. At this time, Corbin was now 10 years old. Because of this, Shane was immediately put into prison. However, eventually he was released twice, but shockingly, or maybe unsurprisingly, depending on your experience with these kinds of people, he repeated his crime both times. And he was eventually imprisoned at Idaho State Correctional Institution. Though his sister and him both vouch for the severity of Shane's abuse, Corbin doesn't appear to hold any ill feelings towards him, even going as far as letting his TikTok audience know that after he is released from prison, Shane and Corbin will be moving out of Idaho to somewhere more secretive. Shane is scheduled to be released from prison in mid-2027. After a large jump in time, Corbin started attending Melba High School, a school with only around 300 students attending and only 800 in the entire Melba district. This school serves an impoverished community, 29% of the attending class being economically disadvantaged. Corbin claims that he was a fighter and that he would fight anyone that looked at him funny, but that was just because he was violent back then, I guess. After trying to strangle his sister though, Corbin was served an ultimatum either be moved to a group home or go to prison like Shane. Corbin was moved to a group home sometime whenever he was 14 where he said life was easy until staff eventually began abusing their clients. Since Corbin was moved to the group home, he started attending a different school called Meridian High, which had a much larger attending class due to being in the more densely populated Napa area. After he turned 18 and was a legal adult, Corbin was kicked out of his group home and forced to move into a rehab company called SL Start. A rehab home essentially is a kind of habilitation for disabled adults. It was after he moved into the rehab home that Corbin moved schools and started attending Centennial High, which he eventually dropped out of in 2016. Corbin himself claims that he dropped out because of turmoil at home, 
which may be an error in his story since he was at SL start at this point and he claims that life was good at the rehab facility. So it's likely he was just lying and didn't want to go to school. He later notes, however, that he regrets dropping out and that he should have graduated to become a provider for his family. It was also a little while after this where on December 7th, 2017, Corbin made his YouTube channel where he would post videos about his encounters with paranormal entities, where he would pretty much record and claim wild sh** was happening in front of the camera that clearly wasn't. And in hindsight, it kinda just appeared he was recording some kind of schizophrenic episode. After moving into the Rezhab home, things were coming along fine, until sometime in 2020 when, according to Corbin, he was outside smoking when he saw a murder of crows, at which point he knew something was wrong. And shockingly, his intuition was right. Corbin paid a visit to the hospital later that day to find out his mother was passing away. In this telling of the story, which I'm referencing, he claims he loved his mother as she was his only mother. So insightful. However, he has been put on record saying that she was a bitch and that she was controlling, and he is glad that she was finally gone. The latter statement is probably how he truly feels, since in this telling of the story, he is largely trying to gather sympathy, but I digress. So this part of the story is where I personally got really confused. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how a rezhab company works, but I think they may have only been covering his housing costs since Corbin says that he had been with SL Start for six or seven years and counting, while simultaneously moving around Nampa. Anyways, yeah, he began hopping from place to place after getting kicked out of a rehab company for being lazy, at which point he moved to another, and he eventually settled down in an apartment complex called Ridgecrest Commons with a roommate. Corbin claims that he had been doing relatively well at this time until he was about 24 years old. However, his roommate, according to Corbin, went down a dark path, which is speculated to mean that his roommate had went to prison, as rumors have been spread that involve him having been incarcerated for pedophilia. But there doesn't seem to be any evidence for this claim as of the recording of this video. His roommate may have just become an asshole too. Either way, he was removed from their home, leaving Corbin to get evicted from his apartment. This caused intense mood swings and a lot of anger according to Corbin, but nevertheless, he eventually moved to a different house with two roommates. That brings us to the second half of this video. Everything up until now has been before anyone ever knew the name Corbin Dean Pinnell. That all changed when TikTok creator Linda Binda streamed herself chatting with Corbin on May 12, 2023. In the live stream, Linda openly flirts with Corbin in a very forward, sexual way, trying to get him to say something stupid or weird. Linda succeeds in making Corbin look like an idiot, which in hindsight wasn't really that hard. Corbin fabricates a story about being in a hacker group called the Nerd Brigade when he went to Melba. He boasts about being a paranormal investigator, and best of all, he reveals that he is a vampire-werewolf hybrid, thus providing the origin of the name he is known by so well. This all would be fine, however, in the first livestream, Corbin shows early signs of degeneracy. In the first notable instance, he brags about the fact that a girl that he f***ed in high school tried to press charges on him for rape. This one chick who I dated back in high school. Know what she did after I fucked her? What? Pressed rape charges on me. Yeah, I personally would not just tell anybody about that. I couldn't find any specifics about these charges, probably since it was while Corbin was still a minor and it probably got wiped away whenever he turned 18. Corbin also goes on to say that he can't live without his sister, but he can't shoot her either. Nice. This livestream blew up on TikTok, sparking a cascade of livestreams from Linda starring her new man, Jupiter. Exactly one month after the first, the second stream was posted to YouTube on June 12, 2023. A few notable things happened, like when Jupiter claimed he only dated minors for show, and that it was just a power move. I'm not f***ing kidding, this actually happened. Someone's commented and said that they think that you're a pedophile. Oh, oh, piss off, haters. And by the way, I only dated minors as a, it was only for show. I wasn't actually doing it. It was only for show. Oh, Some okay. people took that too far, you know? I did it just for show. It wasn't, I wasn't in either 
I wasn't even serious with them. I was doing it as a power move, okay. but apparently some people didn't like that, so... This was the first time that the allegations of Jupiter being a pedophile came up, which up until now, they seemed like they had been pretty baseless. He also claims that he can bring inanimate objects to life, and subsequently shows off a collection of My Little Pony toys, which he had supposedly done this to. They want to know what what do the kids like look like. Mm -hmm. Well, here are some of our babies that we've had. Sorry, they're kind of quiet. They're sleeping right now, but uh, hold on, let me turn my camera around. There they are. Those are most of the kids we've had. This amazing clip was also brought into the world. People want that already? Holy. Yeah. Okay, but only this once. Okay, that was kind of slay. Like, you sounded like Mariah Carey right there. The stream ends with Jupiter proposing to Linda over the phone. Twelve days later, the next Jupiter video dropped. At this point, he had become an internet sensation and everyone on TikTok wanted to hear what delusion Jupiter would throw through their screens, and that he delivered. What's your deepest, darkest fantasy? My darkest fantasy is to watch all those who wronged me die by my hand. That's my darkest one. It makes me want, it just, it's just one of my darkest fantasies of doing. I wanna kill everybody who's wronged me. What is your dream fantasy with Linda? If you had to write your own Jupiter and Linda fan fiction, what would it de include? Hmm, sex, plenty of violence, and a whole shit ton of, you know, magical items. <laughs> Later, viewers continued to press Jupiter about his questionable methods of interacting with minors. In response, Jupiter would utter probably the most hilarious excuse for pedophilia ever spoken. They want us to address the, the pedophile word again. Um, I was set up. That's my, that's my, you know, that's my side. I was set up. I was set up. I was tired. I was high on nicotine and I wasn't thinking straight. That's what I should have said the first time, but instead I was high and exhausted at the time. So I wasn't thinking clearly. Comically, though, just after this, he admits he would be fine with grooming them instead and gives the textbook definition of grooming. So I said it would be better if we all stayed friends until they're older, but until then, we're just going to remain friends, you know? Also, this is the first notable time that Abby is brought up. Abby is one of Jupiter's many love interests who also happen to be minors. Abby was first discussed in the first live stream. However, Linda didn't seem to care, so after the first mention of her, nothing more was discussed. Allegedly, Jupiter started dating Abby whenever she was 16. At the time, that would put Jupiter at the ripe old age of 20 years old. The appetite for Jupiter videos couldn't be fulfilled. Linda's fourth episode about Jupiter would be released on July 5th. This one was almost definitely streamed, and I can't pin an exact date for when it was, but it seems like the first instance of it on Linda's TikTok page was on June 29th, which was less than a week after the third episode. There isn't really anything of note that happens in this live stream other than Jupiter sympathizing with Linda's uncle who abused her by locking her in a cage. What did, wait, what did he do that was bad? You know all the things he said he did that was bad? Like what? I forgot. Um, where you said he locked you in a cage and whatever. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, he did that because he loved you and he didn't want to lose you. Yeah. You were the only family he had. After this video though, things started escalating rather quickly. On July 4th, 2023, Jupiter would post this three minute long ridiculous anime style apology video to one of his many TikTok accounts, which was likely made under one of his siblings' names. It is with a humble heart that I, Jupiter, aka Corbin Pinnell, was a pedophile and am hated for those crimes. I ask the world's forgiveness, as well as those who I've wronged, Bree, and all those other named souls that I have wronged. I beg your forgiveness for the pedophilia I have done. On July 8th, 2023, just four days later, Napa City Police Department seized all devices of Corbin Dean Pennell and put out a statement on Facebook relaying the statement. 
Sometime around this point, he was also evicted from his home for getting into a fight with one of his roommates at his home in Nampa, and he was forced to move back in with his father in Melba. So, at this point, we have all been made well aware of the allegations of Jupiter being a pedophile. So, where is all the evidence of this? Well, about that. Nampa, check this out. I love you, and I know you want me. I know you want it bad from me. Okay, Maya, three reasons we should date. One, if you like what you see, then take it. Two, if you think that you'll be able to handle me, then that's on you. Three, you're cute as hell, and I'd love to have you on my arm. And here's a fourth reason. If you think that you'll be able to tame my inner beast, knock yourself out, girl. Thanks for watching, Maya. These are my reasons for you to date me. Peace. Have you ever thought about maybe becoming a star? Have you ever thought about that? I mean, what if, what if you and I decided to make, if ever you and I got married and we decided to make our own videos, which you, and we added them to different sites and they paid us a butt ton of money, would you consider doing it with me every time? For context, this is someone that Jupiter thought was from the ages of 14 to 15 years old. Jupiter, can I still send you pictures of myself even if I'm underage? Because I'm only 13. It's up to you, sweetie, if you want to. Because I don't mind if you do. I don't mind. Do you plan on trying me in if I say yes? No, I would never. I'd lower the age consent all the way to 16 if you guys wanted me to. Or I'd even change it to 15 if you guys wanted me to. So that might be a lot. But trust me, it somehow <laughs> gets worse. After three months of nothing, Linda would release an interview with Jupiter's sister, Kia, on October 7th, 2023. This video was one of the most shocking pieces of media to ever come out of the entire Jupiter saga, peeling back a layer of this onion of degeneracy to show something ugly hidden beneath the surface. Throughout the video, Kayla reminisces on hers and Jupiter's childhoods, revealing a lot of disturbing, funny, and unsettling information about him. In her video, she claims that Jupiter had poor bathroom habits and was only potty trained at 17. He had to be forced to shower, and he had a bad habit of groping and sexually harassing his own biological sisters. Most importantly though, in my opinion, he was also extremely violent with her and her other sisters, attempting to kill them multiple times. It's also worth noting that on August 11th, 2020, Corbin had a battery charge filed on him, which he pled guilty to. He had to serve 90 days in county jail and was put on probation until his court hearing was finalized for a period of time totaling 70 days. The most likely reason he was charged comes from a story Corbin's sister told in the interview, where Corbin tried strangling her and allegedly told her he was going to kill her while doing so. The time period Kayla places this event puts it right around the time where he picked up this charge, since it was on her birthday, which we know is sometime right around when school starts in America, which perfectly aligns with the date in August. However, I have no solid evidence of this, and it's purely speculation and could be a coincidence. Towards the end of this crazy interview, Kayla says possibly one of the most spine-chilling statements I have possibly ever heard about another person. So if a young child was left alone in a room with Jupiter, that child would not walk out the same? Probably not if they walked out at all. That brings us to the fifth and latest video that Linda Binda has made with Jupiter. In this final video released on October 24th, 2023, Jupiter reveals that he is in fact not in prison to dismay of the greater good in the Nampa area but he also flaunts that he will never be put in prison. He repeats the sentiment that he isn't responsible for anything he did since he was high on nicotine and brushes off any allegations as if it was something where he didn't know any better and he didn't do it like 10 times. 
as of the recording of this video, this is everything that has been revealed in the case of Corbin Pinnell. Only time will tell if his sick actions will prove to have consequences and if he will actually be put into prison like Shane. This video has taken a really, really long time for me to make as I'm just a one-man crew. I would just like to thank you guys for watching till the end of this video. Let me know if you liked it and uh, give me any comments about anybody who you would like me to cover. And with that, my name is Hyrugal and I would like to thank you for watching. Peace.